Keishik, in the past few weeks we've learned that two uh, eating disorder hubs have been delayed in Dublin. The 2018 strategy aimed for 16 specialist treatment hubs across the country. There are currently three operating, that's three for the entire country. As you know, I've continuously raised the fact that there are also only three adult inpatient beds in the entire country for eating disorders. And of course, then there is the fact that there was no funding allocated under the National Eating Disorder Treatment Plan for 2020. And of the 1.6 million allocated in 2019, not one cent of it was spent. While these delays and blatant inaction continue here, uh, people with severe eating disorders are being forced to travel for the UK, to the UK to get the treatment that they desperately need. Um, I have been repeatedly assured uh, this is a priority area for the government, but the reality is that those intentions are not resulting in service improvements whatsoever. Taoiseach, and soon as the Minister is here, um, can you please reassure people um, that this will be Deputy. finally prioritised going forward? Mr Butler. Uh, Gaurav Mahabu, Deputy. Continued development of specialist services for eating disorders, including improved access and shorter waiting lists, remain a key priority for me and for the government. Funding was made available in 2021 to complete the three existing specialist ED teams and establish three additional ED teams in CHO4, your own CHO adult, CHO9 adult and CHO2 CAMS. So when I came into post last year, let me answer now please Deputy. When I came into post last year, the money had been, in, had been as suspended for eating disorders. I reinstated 3.94 million immediately to develop another three teams this year. In next year's budget, I have allocated 1.5 million to put in place another three eating disorder teams. So by the end of 2022, we will have nine full eating disorder teams in the country and we will have two part-time teams. I have to do it incrementally because as you know, there are challenges with staff recruitment. And in relation to the Mount Carmel site that you mentioned, um, there is a team in place it's consistent of eight staff. They continue to operate and provide vital services from its existing location in St. Vincent's University Hospital. The premises wasn't ready for them to move into until quarter two of next year, but their multidisciplinary team is in place with eight staff working. Thank you.